I just simply loved the racing, loved the car since I, when I was a little boy. Gone. Look at this pass out on the inside. So I started like about mid mid range, and then I did a couple months with the karting. So okay. wants to pass everybody. I was immediately comfortable on the car. I was so happy. I just loved the driving. Sato through the hairpin one last time up through the gearbox. 52 race starts and Takuma Sato wins. It was one thing very simple that I wanted to become the race car driver. In the highest level, it's very, very competitive. But almost immediately, I was basically catching the speed in terms of speed to, to, to with other drivers. You, you get a sensation of speed is nothing like you felt in before. An incredible result. He's made up 19 positions from his start. He's now a Portland winner. Takuma Sato wins on IndyCar's return to the Northwest. Racing is science. It is team sport. Not just a driver that driving fast. It's everything has to be perfect. Every single piece of the puzzle has to be fitting perfectly. That is why it's only one winner. What a day for Takuma Sato. He wins for the first time at Barber Motorsports Park. A car is very interesting. Everything is, has to be calculated. The wind direction, tire pressures, air temperature, track temperature. Front line height we're talking is 0.25 millimeter. It's matter. All little things make a 0.1 mile per hour difference in average. Obviously, we need to set the target for the downforce, right? With, yeah. with ambient temperature. Yeah, yeah. And if we couldn't achieve with nose high, then obviously we have to go there yeah. if it's temperature really high. Right. If it's a kind of, we can manage either way, and then just a matter of how, how we build the car. I've been racing 20 years now. I've been so fortunate to, to with so many great teammates, including Formula One World Champion. I never felt that somebody else has more knowledge in terms of technical advance. It's something that I really need to understand in able to drive the car fast. So I'm just kind of the bridge between the car and myself, just talking through the engineer what I feel. Of course, the most important thing is the feeling because at the end of the day, the driver is the one to drive in the car. In my opinion, the, the scary things is uh, something you cannot control. But if you fully integrated with the car, almost your arms and nerves melt into the, uh, the tires and suspension, they become one body, you can control it. And then the, you, you, your scare moment is gone. So when you go to the traveling over 230 miles per hour in front of 350,000 people, your adrenaline is going completely on the limiter. This is nothing like it. You know, there's no race over 100 years of the history. You heard the call, here comes Dario. And Sato may try to come with him, look out. This could get tricky. Oh, and he slides on by. Sato takes second. 2012 was, was a tragic year for me. Dario Franchitti takes the defensive line into one. Sato taking a peek. Inside, 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 But then I learned so much. And then since then, I had to wait another five seasons. So when 2017 came, I had opportunity that I was hanging on the second place, a bit like back in 2012. But what I basically attempt, not waiting until last lap. Sato with a big run here. For overtaking, I went there five laps before. Takuma Sato to the lead. The moment I saw it, when he tried to attempt from outside at turn one and three laps to go, I knew that he just couldn't. He's gonna try the outside again. Nope. So then I just kept my throat throttle and then basically gone away. And I, I won by probably 0.1 second, you know, the uh, after 500 miles in three hours place. Let's watch him, Sato, smooth. Off of turn number four. Castro Neves trying to make one last push. Up of four. Takuma Sato wins. But when I crossed the finish line for the TK Indy 500, neither of the English and Japanese couldn't come out of my mouth. I, I just, language couldn't come out. And all I had to is just 
explosion of my energy, and I was screaming as loud as possible. We as a driver, as a human being, has to be ready. This is a sport. Conditioning is required because one race, we lose about three or four pounds of body weight. The car is so fast, it's 4.5 G for every single corner. I don't think uh, my heart rate goes below 170 or, or, or definitely not below the 160. But once you get into the corner, it's, it's over 180. You have to perform well until last lap. That's why we have to train so much because once your stamina is gone, your concentration is gone, and you can't really drive the car. Before I have an RV, um, I use a, a team trailers, which works okay. But then at the end of the day, compared to having your own space, no distraction, it's just night and day difference. Here in, in RV, you enjoy your own food, and then your own space, own bed, so good sleep, refresh in the morning. I think it is, uh, it is extremely important for the race car driver or athlete to have this kind of uh, own space. You just need your own time. Try to shut everything out, just consideration. Joseph Newgarden, Alexander Rossi, who just set the fastest lap of the race. He sits sixth, then Sebastian Bourdais, Ed Jones. <laughs> Takuma Sato released behind Scott Dixon. Something up at the rear. Cuz, look at the rear. You can easily get pinched off into the wall. All right, we see it, Taku. Let's reset your tool. Just showing you earlier. There goes Graham Rahal riding with Ryan Hunter Ray. There goes Ferrucci. And that's, they swap to Kuma Sato. That's Sato. We're going to do the next set of tires. mile an hour. Fuck Sato. Sato on pit lane, issues with the right rear. It took a while to get that right rear off, so he was just in a moment ago, so this is a second stop for Sato, so he's in big trouble now to get any kind of result. We got the first first pit stop jittersly, all these mistakes going down on the first round of pit stops, and we got five or six more to go. All right, let's start digging. All right, nothing behind. Let's go get them one at a time. And we got a long way to go. We can overcome this. Rossi go, oh, we got a crash. And that is what Pagino needed when he was in the lead. Sebastian 
Bourdais is in it. Sebastian Bourdais, Felix Rosenquist, Zach Veach, Charlie Kimball. This is huge. Hey, remember Takuma Sato, the winner two years ago, was a lap down at one point because they had a, an issue on a pit stop, didn't think the right rear was secured, had to make a second stop. Well, he's back in it. He made that last stop before the caution came out, cycled back to the front. Don't count out Sato. You know he's going to go for it. And the car is pretty good. He's not said much today. Yeah. Rossi. Honda versus Chevy on the front straight. Pagano goes to the outside. He might have it. Pagano's got the lead. Newgarden to third. Four wide at the back with Ferrucci. He was down in the grass at turn four. Here Still comes Sato. Here comes Sato. Sato to the outside. Those cars almost look identical to each other. No attack, no chance. It's Takuma Sato's motto. Here comes Ed Carpenter back on Sato. Oh, they're so close. They nearly touch wheels. Ed Carpenter and Sato side by side. Good job, buddy. Way to dig. Keep going, man. One at a time. And 11 laps to go at the line. 11. Let's dig. Let's Everybody else in the field. Pagano protected the Look inside. Look at Sato. Here comes Sato to the outside. Sato to third. And Sato's coming hard. Sato is dangerous. He's a guy that can take this away from all of these guys. Incredible from Takuma Sato. Oh. Inside and clear. Good job. Let's go. He's got 42-year-old Japanese driver Takuma Sato right behind him, and Taku is not letting these two get away. Come on, two more to go. Let's get two more guys. Clear by five to Newgarden. No attack, no chance. Let's go. That's the encouragement for Takuma Sato. Two more guys. Let's get it done. Half a second between the first three cars. New Newgarden has just fell off the back of this lead three. This is the race for the win. Sato sort of backed off a little bit. I think he's kind of studying the two up front, trying to figure out how to make his move. Clear by four. Come on, reel him in there. You can do it. Come on. Sato is back in the mix. He's right there on the tail of Pagano. And here he comes, Lee. Might happen going to three. Pagano had a great turn three last time. Simon Pagano takes the lead of the Indy 500 with one and a quarter laps to go. White flag, one lap to go. Into the home stretch, less than half a mile. Simon Pagano sweeps the month of May and wins his main in Indy 500. How about that? Checker flag, great job. Great job, Taku. Nice job, Taku. That's a hell of a drive. Huh. Thank you, boys. I, uh, I really appreciate it. I think Howard. That was great. I think we made the most of it. Shame with the third, but still a great result. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Takuma, you gave it everything. There was no more to come from that car. So you're down a full lap. Yeah. You're in 31st place. <laughs> what are you thinking? Hey, it was a tough, mentally tough, you know? We had an issue after the pit stop and then uh, got lapped down. So uh, that moment, almost like into the story, but 500 mile race and three hours race, anything can happen. And then the team did a brilliant strategy, you know, get me back on the lap. So no attack, no chance. What does that mean to you today? Well, I think, uh, again, it's just a philosophy, just never give up, you know. Um, if you give up, uh, the story will finish that moment. Um, when I was lapped down, you know, there is still a lot to learn. And you just be ready, you know, when you have opportunity. and. Uh, Today, after the restart on the final 14 laps, if you didn't attack, I, I probably finished in a P6 or P7. Um, but I just had to do it and um, overtook a couple of cars from the outside, which was a huge challenge. But that's because you know I had a confidence in the car, as a confidence with engineers, as a confidence with with the boys. Number 30 car was beautiful, so um, I think you know attack, no chance is still my motto. <laughs> so get back to the coach, have a nice shower, chasing away with a friend and the team and uh, I think uh, just uh, have a great night.